Hello, students. Today I'd like to show you about Heather Hansen. This is some art that we're going to take our time and look at. I want you to slow down. I want you to key in and do close looking and observation. I also think this is appreciated when we can sort of tap into our emotions and our feelings and just start to see what you notice, see what you wonder about and see what you feel. So let's take a look at her artwork and what you see. Look closely at these pictures. There might be some words that you can think of to describe what you see in these pictures. We'll look at a little bit more here. We can have a closer look at what I think is two dimensional art here made by Heather Hansen. Now to really understand her work, we're going to need to watch a video. During this video, I want you to notice what are you seeing with your eyes? What are you wondering about? What questions do you have? And what are you feeling? forward a little bit. It's beautiful. Okay. All right, so there's a few words that I would like to go over that might connect with Heather Hansen's art for you. The first word is line, and we look at lines, we see lines all the time in our world, and it is simply a mark that is made between two points. And you know about a bunch of different kinds of lines, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, curved, zigzag, straight. So when we think about the question, what did we see just now in the video, maybe you can describe the kinds of lines that you saw being made. There's also the word shape in art, and it's a flat two-dimensional area. So as soon as a line curves around and closes on itself, it creates a shape. There are shapes that are geometric, like triangles and squares, and there's organic shapes that are like leaves or even the human body. 
So you can think about what we saw in terms of the shape that we see. We can also think about symmetry. Something that is symmetrical looks like it's being reflected in a mirror. You might be able to think about the symmetry we saw in Heather Hansen's artwork and in her movements. Performance art is art that's created at a set time in front of an audience. So Heather Hansen's work is performed, and in the case of what we saw, it was recorded too. Sometimes performance art is done and is not recorded, so it is ephemeral, and that's the last word here. It's not lasting and it's short-lived. It almost might be more precious, like something you make in the sand that eventually goes away. So this is a picture of Heather Hansen's art and it is symmetrical. We know this because we can draw a line of symmetry down the middle and it will be the same on one side as the other. We can try making symmetrical line art using both hands at the same time. Let's see if we can watch this video to see how we might do it at home if we don't have a giant paper and a giant floor. Definitely using some tape or something heavy or a friend to stand on the corners so that the paper doesn't jiggle around. You might have crayons or pencils or you might have some super black charcoal like Heather Hansen. So both hands at the same time, starting in the center and then sort of to catch this energy of Heather Hansen, sort of mindlessly, automatically doing the marks that your body wants to make. So I think you get the idea. You can do this with all kinds of different media and you can do this in different sizes. So what Heather Hansen creates is an actual performance art piece and people will gather in galleries and museums and other special locations to watch her perform and kind of catch her energy while she's making the art. People will stare and slowly, patiently watch the entire performance. So we can think about a performance and her performances as ephemeral, something that lasts for a very short time. But on the flip side, there are some things that last beyond her ephemeral art. Maybe the videos we're watching here on the internet, maybe the paper document, the paper record of what she has made. So for this art project, you're going to think about how her whole body was being used and how your body moves differently when you feel different things. You can think about the basic emotions of happy and sad, and you can create your own symmetrical line drawing. You can play music that you like, or you can use some music that I will play at the end of this video. You might go outside and find a nice place to do this project. I believe that this is just some dirt at like an old baseball diamond with some weeds growing over. Let's see if we can see how these people did symmetrical drawing on a large scale. This looks like two different people drawing together, although it might be one person. It's hard to tell with the shadows. And now this is someone who had some sidewalk chalk and some space on the sidewalk or driveway. Also doing the two handed symmetrical drawing in the style of Heather Hansen. You can try different speeds, fast and slow. And you can even start to notice the different feelings between your dominant hand and your non-dominant hand. So there's another way you can do this with mirroring a partner. You might be so lucky as to have a brother, sister, or a grown-up willing to do this with you. Let's see what it might look like. You could open up a grocery bag, or you could find an old piece of cardboard, or you might have 
a giant notebook like these people do. So each person has two drawing utensils. And you can take turns leading. So I'll fast forward a bit and we can see how things end up. So your assignment is to create some kinetic art that shows movement. I would love for you to try symmetrical art both on your own and with a partner. You can use any media, markers, crayons, something outside. You can spill some salt if you're allowed and draw in the counter. Whatever you want to try to draw some emotional, slow, relaxing, symmetrical line art.